Every year or after 100 hours of flight, you need to replace the carburetor membrane kit. Although a very delicate operation and a very sensitive one, with a little bit of patience and with the right knowledge, you can do it back home safe and without any kind of troubles. In this episode, we will show you how to do it. Make sure that you watch the screens and release the tension and direct the kit. Hello guys, my name is Stefan, welcome back to the Paramotor Engine Maintenance Series, series in which we will cover all aspects of maintaining and servicing your Vitorazzi engine. Today we will cover the carburetor membrane replacement, so stay with us, it will not be a short one and I hope that I will give you valuable information. In this episode I will skip the tool presentation part because you will see as we get deep into the, into the operation what tools do we need and how to use them. Usually when I'm changing the whole membrane kit, I like to take off the carburetor, clean it very well, inspect it and do the work properly on the table. So let's remove it. First the air filter. Now the throttle cable. With a 5mm Allen key, now unscrew these two bolts. Now, as we have the carburetor removed, please separate all the parts. And, of course, I like to use a clean towel or a paper towel or whatever but be sure that it's clean and it doesn't have any kind of dust or debris we will change this gasket also now time to disassemble the carburetor First fuel pump, now the leveling meter membrane. These membranes, they're looking very good. They are one year old now, but they're, they're really good. So that tells me these are very, very high quality materials. Now we have the carburetor completely disassembled. Here you can see the low speed needle, high speed needle, so everything is clean and seems right. Time to install the new gaskets on. So out with the old ones, in with the new ones. In the kit that Vitorazzi is providing for servicing the, the carburetor, the membrane kit, you will find different types of gaskets 
for different purposes. We will use the same gasket that Vitorati installs when the, the engines are new. So for that we will use the rubber one and not the fiberglass look-alike one. So this we will put it aside. This is the new one we will install. This is the new gasket. This is again a new gasket. This is the other membrane. The other one. Here we have two types of gaskets in the kit. So you can identify which one to use very easy because one it has this cut with only one hole at the end and the other one it has one cut, a larger cut with two holes at the end. We will use the second one. So put this aside. The new needle, the new lever. As you can see, we still have more parts that we won't use here because this kit is a complete kit for the WB carburetor, which Valgro offers in many, many configurations. So we will use only what we need. If you look closely to the brand new gaskets and the membranes, you can see that they have a very, very fine white powder on them. So what I like to do is to clean them in gasoline, of course, before installing them. And a very useful tip, I would say, as you can see, these cardboard lookalike gaskets are dry now. So if you will mount them in this dry state onto the carburetor, as soon as the gasoline will fill up the carburetor, will soak these gaskets and they will soften and will lose the pressure in between the carburetor and the caps. So what I like to do before installing them, I like to soak them into clean gasoline for at least one, two minutes. So when I will mount them and tighten the caps onto the carburetor, I can squeeze them properly and they will seal as they should. So here we have fresh gasoline and I would like, I would like to show you if you can see as soon as I put them into the gasoline, you can see very, 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 very small air bubbles that are coming out. So that means uh, the gasket now is soaking into gasoline and it will become softer. So let them here for one, two minutes. I will put the other ones too. Now it's time to clean the whole carburetor. And please be sure that while you're using gasoline or any, or any other solvent, you're using them into a ventilated space so you won't sing and dance alone in the garage without anybody seeing you. Now, after we finish cleaning all the parts with gasoline, it's time to dry them out. Now it's time for the most sensitive part of the operation, mounting everything back together. We will start with the metering membrane. So, we'll install needle. Spring. Metering lever. The screw. Now we should install this half moon or how should I call it, little gasket first. Use. 
Tighten the screws with moderate force, not too tight because you don't need to. Be sure not to damage them and to use a very good flat screwdriver because they are from very very soft material. After installing the needle and the metering lever, it's very important to adjust this height of the lever compared to the body of the carburetor, so you will have the right amount of gasoline or fuel into this chamber. If this lever is set too low, then this is the most dangerous situation because the carburetor will run, the engine will run lean and you can damage the engine and if the, the, the lever is set too high compared to the carburetor body, then the, the, the engine will run too rich and in that case you will have a lot of carbon deposits and extreme fuel consumption. I've done it so many times that now I know how it should look like compared to this metal part inside of the carburetor and um, until now I didn't mess it up but officially speaking you should measure the distance between this surface of the carburetor body to the, um, to the, to the lever and it should be around 1.2 1.6 millimeters for that you will need a special caliper like in this picture so remember the correct distance between the carburetor body surface and the lever should be 1.2 to 1.6 millimeter. Now we can proceed with the installation of the membrane. First, we should put the gasket. And after that, be sure that this groove in the pin of the membrane goes inside the fork of the lever. And it should look like this. And not like this. Now we put the cap. Again, tighten the screws in baby steps and be sure that you apply equal pressure to each one of them. Now the metering level membrane is installed, we can proceed with the fuel pump, so we will mount the fuel pump first onto the body of the carburetor, then the gasket, then the cap. Again, the first step would be just tighten the screw snug to be snug, and after that, in baby steps, in an X pattern, tighten the screws until you will obtain the same pressure everywhere, and the installation of the new membranes. In the carburetor is now complete. All that we need to do is to install the carburetor and the airbox onto the engine, adjust it if necessary and go flying. When installing the carburetor back I suggest using new gaskets all over. They are cheap and they don't worth the hassle of having an air leak and not being able to identify why your engine runs like that runs bad. When the Vitorazzi introduced the new MY19 and MY20 engines, they removed the external breather hose for the fuel pump and now they have an internal full circuit. And when you mount the carburetor back, please be sure that you align the, the hole in the flange with the hose into the gaskets and into the isolator material, the bakelite or something like that is called in English. So the whole circuit is free and the fuel pump in the carburetor will work. First we'll make sure that we have the o-ring here in the flange. We will mount the flange onto the carburetor and the carburetor will stay in this position. The hole is down here so that means the flange, the flange will come like this.
so as you can see the holes are aligned now apply just a small small quantity of loctite on the screws and mount the carburetor back together When tightening down the flange bolts onto the carburetor, be sure to not over tighten them because this flange is made out of some kind of plastic material and you can deform it very easily. So you can use a torque wrench set to 10 Nm. Now install the throttle cable, secure it in place. Fuel hose and the airbox, which should be the last operation. Now we successfully changed the carburetor membranes, all you need to do is to go to the field, warm up the engine and adjust the carburetor settings if necessary. Guys, thank you very much for watching, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button because we will have a lot more videos to come in which we will cover all the aspects of servicing your beloved Vitorazzi Monster engine. And as you probably already know, our eShop is now online and fully functional, where you can find any kind of spare parts for Scout Paramotors or any Vitorazzi engine out there with the next day delivery. Please go there and do your shopping. Thank you very much. See you in the next one. Ciao.